the public. Hey, it's a meeting for the company. Hey? It's for the company. Oh, we're in Malaysia. Yeah. Hey, yeah. girls, thanks for standing in the rain. <laughs> So I was just flipping through some of the pages of um, the latest publication of the Daily Abuse. Um, and yes, um, I'm seeing some of the con con comments on, yes, this is really sad, it should be happening, but it's a reality. Uh, and it's, it's rather unfortunate that we've gotten to the point where we need a newspaper, a newspaper to be highlighting these atrocities. And so, um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's real. The, 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 the writing's on the wall. I don't, I don't actually know what else to say. Because I've been saying this, a lot of us have been saying this for a very, very long time. And when is it going to stop? When is it, when, when can women feel free to, to walk in the streets at night, feel free in their homes, feel free at their workplace? Um, so yeah, so for those of you who just tuned in, um, it's the Daily Abuse. I'm at the corner of Grayston and Ravonia Road, handing it out. Of course, under the banner of power, I'm wearing my activist and my, my director's cap. And uh, in partnership with uh, Joe Public United, who they've been supporting power for many, many years and were wonderful, great initiatives. And this is another one which they definitely, definitely need an honor for. So for more information, uh, send me a message through, through Facebook, through, through my messages or just visit our website, power.co.za. Um, yeah, let's keep this conversation going. Uh, yeah, you're right, uh, David uh, Mukari. It does get gloomy just reading the headlines. So imagine living those headlines. And this is a reality for many, many women. And for me, I'm, speak I'm the voice for those who believe that they don't have a voice. The women in the city know what their rights are. A lot, many are still afraid to come forward, um, are still restrained financially, and so forth. But remember, there are a lot of women out in the rural areas who live under the auspice of its tradition, and those are the things we need to tackle. So, I salute the male voices on my threads and so forth, but we need more. We need louder voices from the male in, in, in solidarity with, with what we're standing for, in solidarity with being against abusers. And that starts with conversations you're having with your sons, conversations you're having at the boardroom, conversations you're having on the golf course or in the locker rooms with the boys, a couple of drinks afterwards. Uh, yeah, what are you saying when, when, when somebody makes a joke about beating up a woman? or dehumanizing a woman. Are you smiling? Are you being neutral? Are you standing up for it? Because that could be your wife, that could be your sister. Or ultimately, that could be your child. The decision is yours, yeah? I'm gonna flip through a couple more pages, just so you can uh, get the extremity of it.
Thank you. 